the Dama. I'm here I to am... change the narrative of the world. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to today's edition of African Youth Parliament. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for giving the time to be here today. I really appreciate every one of us. I appreciate you who is listening to us on Dudu's FM, the first and only Pan-African radio station. I appreciate those of you listening to us on YouTube right now. I appreciate, some, I appreciate everyone who is listening or watching us right now. I appreciate those of us in the house with, uh, with us today to discuss on the African Youth Parliament. I am your honorable host, Damai. I am the Damai. I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. Mine. So I really appreciate Dudu Spree FM, the first and only Pan-African Radio. This is a very wonderful opportunity, and this is a big deal for Africa. I am the Dama. I am here to change the narrative of the world. Because on Africa Youth Parliament, we, we discuss things that are very valuable. We discuss things that make meaning to the world, things that can actually change the world. Because the world can be changed continent by continent. But the continent that matters to us most is Africa right now. Humanity is what matters to us, but Africa is what we have. So today, what I, I am the Dama. I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. Controls us. Only thing will control you. You know, everybody, everybody is controlled by something. Some people are wealth, some people are controlled by greed. Some people are controlled by elite or should we say ignorance. So all sorts of different people. So uh today we will start this very paramount. We will discuss everything one after the other. But today we will start with um, religion. So religion is what we know. So our religion, if we are talking about religion, <clears throat> the most dominant religion we know of is Buddhism. And a Judaism, we know of the Abraham religions as Christianity and Islam. So, but what is your view on religion? <clears throat> religion. I, I am the Dhamma. I'm here I to am change the narrative of the world. According to a very wise lady who quoted something last week during this show, she said, religion was made for man. Man was not made for religion. And that word clicked a button in my head. And I was like, it is true. Religion was made for us. We're not made for religion. Then why do we play the game of religion? Why do we play to religion? Why do we play by religion? Why does religion divide us? Why does religion give us a reason to be poor? Why does religion give us a reason to be separate, to stay apart? Why doesn't religion promote love and unity in the world? If religion could actually fix all the all the problems in the world, then it should have done that. If religion was the answer, then everything should have been fixed. Or we shouldn't have any sidebars, we shouldn't have any killers, we shouldn't have people who are greedy, we shouldn't have bad government, we should have people who are stealing from other continents. I, I am the Dhamma here I to am change the narrative of the world. Stealing from other countries. So what is now the problem. Is religion an answer? Is religion what controls you? Are you being controlled by religion? So, once again, I thank you, Dudu Spree, for being here at Jokia Day. I thank you, Sci-Fi Lua. I thank you, Joe Inola. I thank you, Damsel Pictures. So, we want to hear your opinions on this. So, first, uh, I would like to call on our sister, Jokia Day. Please, what do you think about this? Religion as a method, as a tool of control. What is religion? I, I am the Dhamma. I'm here to I change the narrative of the world. Okay, many thanks to everybody, and uh, I appreciate everyone for coming here. Honorable Parliament members, many thanks for being here. This is African Youth Parliament, and we are live on Judo Spree. It's a great privilege to be here today to be able to talk about this thing that is affecting every one of us especially on the continent of Africa. If you check us out very well, you will see that we have this seemingly, what do they call it? Religious view that does not make us godly. We are the ones that will do everything. 
more than the people that would do it. Uh, for about five, 12 hours now, I've been on, uh, you know, when you go back to your route, meeting young minds like everybody that I've been able to meet in this one, two, three years now, it's not, it wasn't joke. Religion brought me. I am the Dhamma. I'm here to I am change the narrative of the world. And it was my research into the traditional religion that brought me. So the person that introduced me to the person that introduced me to most of every most people here wasn't even a Christian nor a Muslim. Onisheshe, that is Yami Oshatola Bimbola Saki Yonbubikibitebawa. So we got talking and uh, she was just like, I have something to do. And that's why we are here today. Dudu Spree is here. We need to go back to the basic where we will understand who we are. Religion will always be a bone of contention because we do not understand who we are. Many of us just go about doing things like, like we see. We should not forget the fact that this religion was actually made by man. I, I am the Dhamma. I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you think of it, the traditional, the Christianity, the Hinduism, the Buddhism, the what again? Yes, they were once human beings who walked on the surface of earth in their strength and in their greatness Olodumare gave them special functions and we call them avatars so if you are there you are still thinking and the question is you what legacy would you leave will you continue being the the congregant the masses or you want to be the player you are a link to generations coming behind i, I am the dumb man here I to am. change the narrative of the world and until you take the decision to actually stand and leave better legacies what's wrong why can't we even rewrite all this religion Dagger. can we shake that table break it why can't we write what suits us Why can't we rewrite it? Is there a law? Somebody wrote it, so why? Why not even rewrite? I, I am the Dhamma. I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. You know, by the time I go this way, people will be like, ah, uh, uh, we are not spoiling anything. What worked in the 19th century, we know work in the 21st century, is no joke. The phone you were using in the 19th century, can you bring them out today now? And you say the same phone you want to use to be on Zoom with us right now, the same phone you want to use to Google, the same phone like her, okay, I got one here. See, this phone can actually Google at a point. But she won't over if you will any. We, we are in soup. So like, Somebody is still bringing landline to us, religious wise. Whereas the world have moved to digital age where we have quantum computing. Religion was made for man. Man was never made for religion. It is, it is a lie. In fact, that lie is actually from selfish mindset why is it now that on the continent of Africa, all the evil you can think of on earth is on the continent of Africa? And we are not moving forward as a people. Can we recheck? Can we do what suits us? Can we just go back and do the right things for ourselves? Are we going to continue like this and, and build, breed children that do not understand the language? In fact, the universe, they don't understand them. Your own local dialect, they don't understand them. 
Your religion, they don't understand that. Your evil religion, they don't understand that. We are full of immorality. It is actually difficult for you to live a simple life. And they will not say that, ah, evil will tear just say, okay, okay. Why do I need to just say, if I, if I have to just say, then maybe everybody should stop being human beings. We, the, the truth of the matter is, if we do not go back to the basics and understand that all these religions, they are made for us and we are not made for them, then we may never. Okay, I, I need to So, um, from this perspective, in fact, I'm feeling it. So, now, um, do you know there's something about religion now on earth, right? Humans, we humans, as long as we live, you know, religion tells us things. Let me start with they give us that influence of fear, they tell us you were born a sinner, and as long as you remain a sinner. You need purification. You need to be made holy. You need to, in Christianity, they tell you give your life to Christ, accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, unless you cannot make it to heaven. Everyone is afraid that if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you will not go to heaven. Then what is the essence? You know, even in the Bible, they tell you what is the gain of man to live his life and have everything, and at the end of the day, go to hell. So, but now, you know. Even that mindset, should we even carry it at all? Should we even carry the mindset of, I am a sinner, I am afraid, we are too busy trying to live for the future, and at the end of the day, even that, we are living, do, do you know something? We are living life out of fear. I, I am the Dhamma. I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. I'm only doing good because I do not want to go to hell. And if you are doing good just because you don't want to go to hell, you are just doing it. At the end of the day, when you have an opportunity, maybe you are you are not afraid of going to hell at that moment. You do anything you want to do. You feel like, well, fire. That is what we we'll say. So that is the worst case. So shouldn't we be good without religion? Can't we be good without the influence of religion? Okay. Now, I would like to call on Ajo Fade because I can see that I'm bubbling, but can I call Oyi Ojo Oyinola? What do you think about this? Like, you know, Religion, I'll be telling you, don't steal, don't commit fornication, don't commit adultery, because you don't want to go to hell. We know God, you cannot steal from God. Yeah, no, you can, but let's not go there yet. So, but now, they tell you all these things so that you don't go to hell. If there was no hell, so what do you think? You still, will you still commit? So, what is that? Yeah, thank you very much, um, brother mine. Yeah, according to this topic we are treating today, that um, controlling what controls you as an African, and the main one we are treating is religion. Yes, one problem about we Africans is that we believe what our pastors tell us. One problem about Africa is that we believe what our pastor tells us. Now, just like what Mr. The Mind is saying now, that don't do this, don't do that. If you do this, we go to hell. If you do that, it's, it's, we go to hell. It's just that we Africans, we don't even believe in our own thinking. Your pastor will just tell you, don't do this, we go to hell. I can tell you that some of the pastors are telling us wrong things. That if we ourselves are the ones that are right. Sometimes they turn the Bible upside down. So it's just that we can be very good. We can be very good. We do many things without religion. You can create your own religion. They say religion is the mode of worshipping God. And it's also the belief, the faith in the existence of God. You can decide, I want to worship God. Yes, you can. It determines your heart. Even God Almighty lives in the sincerity. What you do. Most people that go to church, most of these pastors go. Most of them, they are all like, none of them is even pure. So it's just the problem there is just that um don't do this, don't do that. If you do this, you go to hell. Most of them are just yeah, most of them are just flukes. They are just flukes. We can be very good without religion. We can be very, very good without religion. So my own opinion is we should do what we feel is right, as long as you have our own clear conscience. That is. Thank you very much, brother mine. Mm, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, <laughs> Damsey, are you there? I don't know if Damsey there, but I don't want to comment yet. I don't want to give any comment yet because I don't want to distract your uh, your line of thoughts, uh, Mr. Jackade. So, Mr. Jackade, 
me like something. Okay, yeah. You know, I was just laughing because I'm beginning to see how an African will think when it comes to religion. But that's not the truth. It's not the truth. See, just tell yourself today that God loves you. If you live from that, and uh, for the next one week, every day wake up and just tell yourself that God loves you, created you in the best continent, are we still together? For one week, think of it that Olodumari loves you. Say Olodumari loves you so well. He created you in the best continent. See the way you will live your life for that one week. Then another week, do this experiment. Then just think of all the yields on the continent of Africa and just see yourself as, in fact, you'll be worse than that guy. Those three uh, stole away, who were caught. Those who... This is the game of the mind. It is the game of the mind. You, we are busy looking for money. Why do you, the whole world, every system is busy looking for your mind. Check the, all the religions that they've sold to us. It is the game of the mind. Before you, be, you gave your life to Christ, so to say, you would actually feel that by the time you are done giving your life to Christ, doing everything, that everything is going to be rosy, like Miracle ex, uh, Express, these and that, those are lies. It's not the truth. We still need to work. But because your pastor is not going to work, and your pastor is also working, your imam is working, home parents is offering social service. So you, you pay him, you know, you use him as a yardstick for your life, forgetting the fact that these people also have their own, their own, what do they call it, cup of tea that they carry about. That's the truth. So we must live our lives understanding the fact that we, this religion, we will keep striving to become better. But until we go back to the basis, in our land, in Africa, before the religion, we, we had morals. Do not sleep with another man's wife. Do not go about as a, a unmarried fellow, having sex about. And what is the difference between that and fornication and adultery? We had laws. So are you telling me that we do not know God then? Let's go back home. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you at all. Sorry for the interruption, but I want to chip this in. So, because I know you probably have something to say about it. What then is the usefulness of religion? Why do we need religion? What is the essence of religion? When we already have everything. We have things that guide us. We have, we know, don't steal, like you said, don't do these don't we know what so like why why should i even have religion at all it said i i should live my life you know, knowing god loves me but i can live my life knowing i love myself and i like what i'm trying to do now trying to make africa a better place even for the generation who don't know us we only hear our names and watch this video and listen to this spree in the future i know that there was once in their mind there was once a jockey a day. There was once Dudu Spree. There was once Ojo in your land, Cypher and Damsey, you know? So, but why then do we need religion at all? Because so far, so good. We can't see anything. I don't know. I don't know. In my opinion now, and in the opinion of many others, what has religion done for us? Okay, yeah. Religion is a powerful tool in the human society. And I will tell you that even you not believing that there is God is actually a religion. You not believing that there is God is actually a religion on its own. So a religion is just a system of belief. But actually there is something that makes religion different from lifestyle. It is the encounter. Either you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're a, you're a traditional believer. If you do not have the encounter, that can actually transform your third part and make you live a right. Then you've not started. The present day religious leaders, they focus more on the outward. Don't dress this way, dress this way. You know, like having follow, follow. 
and people do not have the life itself. Some religions have been known for violence. Even the Christian religion, yes, had its dark age. These are the truth they will not tell you. Yes, the dark age when you people were burned at stake because they were holding the King James Bible you have now. The Crusaders, we remember, they, they, they were the Islam Crusaders, they were the Christian Crusaders. We need to go back to the history. These religions thrive on war, poverty, and every evil. Man is helpless, yes, but there is something deep about man. A man, as you are looking at me, this is not a joke at day. I am within, and that is the spiritual aspect of mankind. Until there is a connection between that which is within me, that which is without, and my society, my immediate environment, I haven't found my path to doing the right religion. There must be a synchrony. That's why you see most of us, we go to church day in day out i was just tired one day i said this ritual why must we recite the same prayer point why do we have to some of us who have been to churches big churches you will know even even the are why do we have to keep is that how deaf and dumb god is of course not there's something is wrong with our channel of communication and that is where we need to go this generation this is our generation we are rewriting the history. We, we are not doing it like we want to just do it. We have been called upon to remove this evil that has put Africa under the bushel, making you think without you going abroad. When some pastors pray, they say, you will go out to America, so go and wash toilet. Pastor, they finish them. No, they say the prayer halfway. You will go to London to go and be back in snow. They will not tell you this truth, but that is the truth of our life. We face this thing every day. This it is tearing us in the face every day, every time. We have to we have to struggle, we have to fight it, we have to work it out. And it's as if if you don't do it, you are not going to actually survive. Religion is a fraud without the life. And any religion that encourages you to, to kill, to steal, and destroy is the worst of all. Let's shake this table. We can break it. Yes, this is the African Youth Parliament. Thank oh. you. Uh, thank you. Yes, this is the African Youth Parliament. I just heard what you said now. You said religion is a fraud. And, well, <laughs> I agree with you on that. Okay, you know, religion and spirituality, we are still considering this. You, you said something very important. You know, in churches now, even in my own church, they will tell you, raise your right hand, you know, you travel out of the country. Why should I travel out of the country or long about? The only thing I need to travel out of the country is because my country is not good. Africa is not developing. It's Africa is not developing as it should. Let me use it that way. Now, many countries are not going forward. In, in my, just in my local government, we have over 1,000 churches. Okay, at least give or take about 1,000 churches. In my country, we have millions of churches. If as much as, or as many as we have churches, if only we had truthfulness. You know, every religion preaches goodness, at least, one way or the other. Every religion will tell you not to lie, not to be a fraud, not to do this, not to do that. But yet, everything is going bad. Every religion will, okay, I can see your hand up. Please, Ajoka Ade, you move you, this table, let's break it. I told you that religion thrive on poverty. I, I am the Dama. I'm here to I am change the narrative of the world. Poverty. So, in as much as people don't have food, 
they don't have basic amenities religion will continue to thrive we used to think that the witches and wizards in our villages killed us until COVID-19 came there was lockdown and the, there was nothing like that until the full and ex men entered the villages and started raping our women then we began to understand that okay they actually the the, the conspiracy is to uproot us remove us from our bases just imagine if all of you that you are in the church if you have food you have basic basic need some of us we are sick you know when we go to me because god has given some of us grace a bit have been i've been to the hospital the best of the best around at least a computerized hospital in nigeria if i'm telling you computerized no need for you to be living like we do and i met a renowned pastor's son there came for treatment in fact my husband paid his bill okay i'm a pastor but this was the it was on a monday on sunday this pastor was telling the church member that they should come and take water for healing but his own son he sent the son to the best hospital i, I am the damn man here to I am change the narrative of the world are we together so yes, he, together. I can hear you. no children to the best hospital where we are supposed to do diagnosis know what is wrong but in the name of religion that person who who's probably got a goita they will say is a offer that person who's got probably got appendicitis they will say is ugui delay that person who's got kidney failure liver failure they will say is as i say and i don't see when we are supposed to do we don't even know when this i'm not am i disputing in that there are times you need to fight spiritual war yeah of course there are times but it is not every time it is not every day you keep fighting an unknown enemy let us know the enemy first and this religion will not allow you to know the enemies that's the problem i, I am the damn I'm here I to am. change the narrative of the world they don't want you to know the enemy so that you will not know what to fight how to fight and how to win the battle of your life you you lack food what is the solution what is the solution even in all the scriptures is to go work and have money but here you are you don't have food as a youth you are wasting your time you go from from one pillar to post from one mountain to the other you go back home when i was pregnant with my son they saw so many things but none of them happened none of them happened because i knew the god that i serve and i'm still serving him it is not a wicked god if i had lived by fear maybe i would have died by now any religion that preaches fear and all of them preach it is a fraud that's a, that's the answer until our pastors go back to the basis and stop defrauding us until they are far as the imam stop defrauding us some of them some of them are pedophiles i, I am the damn man here to am. change the narrative of the world what's up pedophiles i'm not i'm not talking about any religion now all of them together there are lots of pedophiles having sex with children all of us know what we went to find get small if you even find small like a joke day you're in soup we all knew what we went through some of us they could not touch us because who who our parents were but they were i saw girls who were molested i saw girls whose womb were removed before they were 20 and they were in, in yes womb what is your womb but 20 Want to share info, share info, share info. Only the name of religion. This man will say, Alone, share no for me. You get me. That person name. I, I am the damn I am here I am to am change the narrative of the world. Religion is a fraud if there is no life and godliness in it. And these people that you are seeing charading about, we only take our money and destroy us. Thank you, sir. I, I am the damn I am here I to am change the narrative of the world. Thank you very much, Andrew. Religion and its effect on Africa. <laughs> the theme, once again, 
is controlling uh, controlling what controls you here in Africa youth parliament. I, I am the damn I'm here I to am change the narrative of the world. So we can see, and as we continue Power. checking this out, there's a lot of things that are controlling you. Religion shapes your mindset. Like what Ajokade said now, it makes you think everything is either a spiritual problem, it makes you think you are always under attack. In my, if if there are medical centers, if there are good hospitals that are free, free healthcare, you won't need you won't need to be using. Okay, I don't want to use the word because if I tell you what I want them to say, oh, okay, you need to be using anointing oil every single time. You have headache, you are using anointing oil. Okay, okay, let me because give some churches. I'm sorry, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, honorable speaker. There oh, was okay, no problem. We, there was a scenario that happened. Kitty, a kitty. I do a kitty to be precise. This woman drank this fake anointing. You know, there is fake. There is difference between you drinking olive oil and the, the fake anointing oil they sell in Nigeria. This woman drank the fake one so much that all this love it coagulated here. And uh, they just said it was a it was offer. <laughs> the same place they gave her the anointing one. Every time, every little prayer she would drink this thing. I say, Auntie, what are they? Do you know that? Do you know that? I said, go to the hospital. When they they called me, it was not even goiter. Fats. Because the body could not excrete it. It now coagulated. Fats. You want your kuro be by. And this, do you know why she has been drinking all these things? The husband is not staying at home. She drink anointing oil. They move to a new house. She says the landlady that wants to collect the husband, a, an old woman. She will drink anointing oil. Somebody that they, they have always been fighting even before they even started this whole thing. Before you knew it, it was they just made them mentally insane people. Even your church, I I I I fought your church because I've I've had about two three people. Who ran mad? Real madness because of this psychosis they put in our mind. I'm telling you the truth. You know, we have to break this table because she's always believing that somebody is out there attacking her spiritually, fighting her, and is always fighting me. Do of the night when she's supposed to sleep, she's not sleeping. And you know, I told you a bit of it. I'm not going to mention the name, but now that they've packed that, we, we have to move out to our room. Well, what has the religion done for us? Put us under. Exactly. Thank you, sir. I, I am the damn I'm here I to am change the narrative of the world. Ah, thank you very much, ma'am. I would love to continue this, but we have just one more minute. So, next week, <laughs> next week we'll continue on this topic because there's still a lot of tables to shake. I'm going to need a lot of two issues today at home. So now we need to dig deeper and understand this. Area. Because if you don't understand the problem, you can never prefer a solution. You can never suggest a solution. You can never even do what you think the solution is. So now we have less than one minute. And so now I'm thanking you very much. Thank you, Ajokiade, for your input. A lot of people are benefiting from what you're saying. Thank you, Cypher, for being here. Thank you, Joinola. Thank you very much, Damsey. I really appreciate you. Everyone who is listening to us on Dudu Square FM, the first and only Pan African Radio, will be here again next week Sunday by 4 o'clock p.m. Those of you watching us live on YouTube will be here again next week Sunday. Thank you very much for your time. I am your honorable speaker, Damai. I am the Damai. I am here to change the narrative of the world. This is Dudu Spray FM, Pan African Radio. Good morning, sir. I do more boy. You are listening to Dodo Spray FM, Pan African Radio. Lie, 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 lie. What do you want to be say? We want to make people know. Say something, don't dig down before you go come. This Africa, where you see so. 
We don't dig ground. We've been doing lots of things. We've been doing lots of wonders before the Americans, the Westerners came here. And this, our generation, were here, won't turn the story around. Our own generation, we don't, we don't tell people say we fail. Our own generation, we they encourage people. The people will go come after us, eh? They will know, say, we don't do big things. I'm going to say, we will make it happen. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to tell you, we're going to tell you, we're going to so everything we've done is what they will follow. I will make sure we lay down good and solid foundation for them. Pan African Radio. Hey, hey, hey! One good morning, sir. Do pay more boy, boy. She now only Yoruba people you define, Abi. Which kind of set of people you define for this African Youth Parliament? Because you don't hear some people that we Africa. You know, you know them. They will carry the only thing back to back to people join body. Who are the people where you define for this parliament? Now everybody, now everybody will want. Everybody from every part of Africa. She now West Africa, now any part of Africa. You be Congo, you be Ghana, you be anything, anybody where you be. As long as say your skin black. As long as say blackness they your blood, blackness we good. As long as say they your blood, we they invite you. Even if now white Africa you be, as long as say you be Africa, come come. That is that in I be, I be your rubber man, I be your rubber blood. But this youth parliament, this African youth parliament, has not yet the name so. Now for every Africa all around the world, wherever you are, whoever. The story where you they talk, they sweet my belly, and I don't see say. They don't talk, say, let us take the matters to their doorstep. The speaker of the Honorable House is the youngest master blaster himself, and we don't see him. Okay, what do we they talk? We say, you gave us some palaver, where we they think. You talk, say, why do mm-hmm. students have to dress up like Westerners to school? You won't change our school uniform, show. <laughs> this is Do the Spray FM. Pan African radio. No wahala, but we go wear our own material, our own tie and dye, our own adire. Any material we be saying na Africa do am na he want the wear goes. I know scatter school. I just want change us. She na only you want day the African youth parliament ni. Who are those who make with their expert for this parliament? No, I won't make every youth with the Africa. Every person, anybody. From 80 years old to 40 years old, if you even pass for your passport is small, if you still join us, everybody make we come, make we discuss this matter, make we talk and make we cheer and make we put down together. Now everybody will define if we talk this matter. I am the Damine, I am the Damine. I am here to change the narrative of the world.